or the tinted car. Oh yes. When you put tint tint windows, people know you don't like. <laughs> you don't to, want to to be disturbed. Yes. Yes. So stopping and saying hi, mm. there are many opportunities mm. to to contribute to community when you are still mm. uh, uh, working. Mm. Start start by visiting your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Visit your parents. Call them even. You know, many many young people they don't have the habit of calling. They don't. Even my children, they don't, they don't call me Obi Obi. <laughs> start with your parents. Start, start even with your, with your relatives. Let's talk about community. Yeah. You are, you are in Kericho. Yes. Your family is here. You are, you've man maintained that bond, which is good. Mm -hmm. you, st you still need more which you can only get from your community. How oh, yeah. have you plugged into the community? Um, um, yeah, that's interesting. I, and again, this is personal. Um, I say that I'm a pastor. It gives me an opportunity to get to know people very well. They, they've given me a level of trust that I am really trying to live up to. Um, and that's when I'm doing it. Um, Apart from that, uh, I, I, I did community work in various communities in the country. So it's now my turn to do it in my own community. So I'm with them in various activities. I said about, I mentioned about the, the cooperative society we are trying to do. Because people have been doing farming, but they get nothing out of it. Mm. So we are trying to see how they can benefit from their daily activities and also working together because i mentioned about conflicts also mm. so if we are able to come together as like 20 families mm. and then another village also and then another village mm. you see this thing is having again ripple effects mm. and so community is very important because we have common problems mm. we have common challenges common opportunities mm. and so i try mm. um, i can mention about the roads the roads are very dilapidated, so sometimes I mobilize them to work on the roads. Yes. Uh, I get very little, very little acceptance in this, so I will get very few people who are willing to help us. Yes. And for me, it is very rewarding because I get to get home. Yes. I don't know about the road to your home, but yeah. in my place is Maram Road. Tamak, yes. no, no tamak in the village. Yes. So we really have to maintain the roads together. Roads, yes and try minimize accidents. There's yes. this, this border borders which are running up and down nowadays. Yes. Yes. So we manage this border borders. Yeah. Anyway, we, there's a lot we do in the, in the community. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, education yeah. in, of our children in the community. Yeah. We try. Yeah. And my family also has been into it. We, we, we do this. We yeah. help a few needy children mm -hmm. here and there. Mm. Not all the time, mm. but we do. Mm. And now, education on COVID mm. uh, because in the village people are st they still think COVID is in the city yeah, yeah, yeah. so we really have to educate them yeah, give yeah. them updates yeah, yeah. and so that's because preventing this thing is much better than we are there with them even if people come to my my home mm. they will get a soap and water somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. they wash their hands they wash their hands yeah, those it come. <coughs> I'm sure it took some preparation uh, during your active years. Uh, you didn't just show up after 20, 30 years into a community and uh, want it back in. You must, there must have been some investment you made. You didn't just become a pastor overnight. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. It's you, a long story. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, yeah. there must be. There must have been something you were doing, even when you were doing your other things, mm -hmm. that prepared you for a community to accept you and you become valuable in that community. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long road to go, but one is presence. Mm. Presence. presence. And, uh, uh, in, in my community they 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 know the tinted car as a way of avoiding them yeah. 
So for a long time I would. Oh, the tinted car. Oh yes. When you put tint tint windows, <laughs> people know you don't like. You to, don't want to to be disturbed. Yes. Yes. So stopping and saying hi, and being with them in the normal activities, funerals, all these things. So but you, also, you you were participating yeah, in those things yeah. before, yeah. How they made me a pastor, I think this is this was a calling. I don't think uh, it's because they like, but I've been in the church and uh, so they've been seeing my life. I've taken my friends to help improve the church, not even church, churches. Mm. So I did that a lot when I was uh, okay. working. Mm. And I leave that also because I was in obedience to some higher calling. Mm. So at the end of the day, um, I ended up there, mm. and they gave me the opportunity, mm. and I'm I'm happy. I'm happy to live with them. In fact, it's not that I am getting, I'm I'm giving to the community. I'm learning a lot mm. from the community. Mm. You learn a lot. A lot. Oh, people in the city, they should know. <laughs> There's a lot to learn from the community. Absolutely. A lot. A mm. lot. Mm. I I have, I have my uncle, mm. brother to my dad. Yes. And um, one day I was, I had a pickup. I mm. bought a pickup in preparation for retirement. Yes. <laughs> so before the border border, I would drive to the local market and I would carry a lot of people. One day I was so angry because they, they would stop me, stop me. Then I went to my, my uncle and I told him, now this pickup is bothering me. And he told me, no, when people appreciate, it's a bigger thing. So. Actually, from that one pickup, I have been able to improve my transport facility now, mm. and I'm, I'm happy. In fact, they don't stop me anymore mm. <laughs> because now the border borders are there. Yeah. But I learned to accommodate people, yeah. and when I when I'm not in a position to accommodate, they will know there's a reason. Mm. Yeah, because mm. they know my character. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I've been present in the community, mm. and I told you I even go to school. And find out if there is an issue. Mm. I've been a board member, board chair, so I've been there. Mm. I've been there with the community, yeah. and I think this is this is uh, possible when you are working. You can be a board chair for a local school, or you contribute in a way that you yeah, yeah. you find. It's not only in schools or in church. Yeah. There are many opportunities mm. to to contribute to community when you are still mm. uh, working. Mm. Yeah. So here it's. You moved from being a corporate leader, you are in corporate, and yes. now you become a, co a, a community leader, yes. uh, which is which is interesting. So it's something. It also has come. It comes with its own dynamics, mm -hmm. uh, which all of us need to be prepared prepared for. Yes. Uh, that's 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 in, when people see your car, they know this is our community leader. They want to stop you. They want to get. To your car, ride, yeah, yeah, a ride. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those are all interesting dynamics. So, being a community leader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, and I and I learned also a lot when I was working because um, <laughs> when I was doing when I was working with the NGO, I I, I, I read in the paper there was this uh, time when people were getting early. It was called handshake. Yes. So there was this, there was this gentleman who was a high-ranking officer. And he retired and uh, probably used to have a tinted car. Now, when he retired and he went home, he wanted, they, they used to draw water from uh, a, a, an improved uh, water source. Eh? So he wanted to pass, the, to jump the queue. You know, that man died in a day. He was hit with his bucket of, the one he wanted to use to carry water. So I, I I thought no we must we must appreciate the community. Yeah, yeah. They can allow you mm. when they respect you, but mm. you cannot use your title from the city <laughs> <laughs> to take it to the No, no, it, it will not work. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's that that's that's yeah. very yeah. So what would you because this is our last episode. Yeah. What would be your parting shot to young people out there? who are in their 30s, their 40s, mm -hmm. even 50s. And uh, they need to get into some community. They need to make sure their families are close to them. What would you advise them now in their situation? I would say, I would say there are many opportunities that are available in the, in the community. Um, 
start start by visiting your parents. <laughs> visit your parents. Call them even. You know, many many young people they don't have the habit of calling. They don't even my children they don't they don't call me obi obi. <laughs> start with your parents. Start start even with your with your relatives. Make a habit of visiting. And when you visit, make a meaningful visit. Say hello. Yeah? Saying hello to an old grandma in the village is like all that they need. Mm. They are so lonely. Mm. And so, yeah, and if you are able to do more, mm. get into running the community, school, dispensary. Mm. Instead of just criticizing, you do something about what you mm. find not well in the community. Mm. To, and there is a blessing in that. Mm. Yeah, so this all the opportunity that you need. And I welcome those who don't have the opportunity. There, there is enough opportunity in my village. I can take them around. I can show <laughs> them what to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Jaffe. Because yes. I have learned so much uh, from you. And maybe if I can just go to my own takeaways from just listening to you, your story. Um, it's very clear to me that life is more than just me. Mm. Life is not about you and you and you alone. Mm. Life is about people. What is in, who will miss me when I'm not here? Sure, who will sure. miss you when, I'm, when you're not there? What impact do you leave behind? What will be your footprint when all is said and done? You can, you can have the best health for yourself. You can have the best investment for yourself. You can have the best ret uh, retirement package for yourself. But life will still not be meaningful mm -hmm. if you don't impact on other people. Sure, sure. And we need to do, we need to, it's not, it doesn't happen once. It happens every day as long as you are, as long as you are, as long as you are breathing. So, it's important that we, we, we connect to our purpose. Why are you here? Why were you born? What, what were you meant to do? What were you meant to, 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 to? impact on other people's other people's lives so uh, i hope you have learned a lot please make sure you're close to your family pull your mom closer to you pull your dad closer to you pull your children closer to you pull, pull your uh, wife closer to you sure, or your sure. husband closer to you sure. and also pull your community closer to you and then you'll have a very fulfilling life and that is what wealth is all about. Thank you so much for following us on this, uh, on this um, series with Jafet Yegon. Thank you, Jafet, Thank you, sir. for honoring us with wisdom um, that is not found in books, but it is found in people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please uh, watch out for this space. Uh, there is a lot more interesting life-changing content this is how we change lives that is will be coming on this favorite channel investment channel for you god bless all of you until next time subscribe bye